Well, Frank, we have from Quincy, Lee Bergeron. Lee averaging 130, a 201 for single string, 474 for three, and 1306 to qualify for the show. Tom Olster, Lee Bergeron, in the finals of the men's division of our Pro Bowlers Classic, the first of three strings comes your way right Olster after. Olster will lead us off today. Pro Bowlers Classic, men's division final. Tom Olster versus Lee Bergeron. Nice break for Tommy there. $2,000 to the winner of this match today. $1,000 to the runner-up. Well, the fact that he had the four pin missing there cost him that shot. Hit that pretty well. So a 10 box for Tom Olsta to lead off this match. Get up. Well, twice in a row, Tommy, just a little bit to the right of number one. Nice comeback there. Comes up one short of the spare. As you see, and uh, Dave mentioned a little bit earlier, Tom Olster's average, 128. A pair of 10 boxes, 20 for Tom Olster. And there you see the cars. The 1982 Ford LTD Crown Victoria on your right and the 1982 Corvette. What are the significance of those cars? Well, I have to take a look here at Lee Bergeron. Tell you that anyone who rolls a triple strike in one string will win free use of the 1982 Ford LTD Crown Victoria for one year. And four strikes in a row, the 1982 Corvette. Now, these cars are worth a little bit of money. We're talking 15 grand for the LTD, 22 grand for the Corvette. And when we talk about full use for one year, we're talking plates, insurance, taxes, maintenance. All you need to do is put in the gas. Comes to us courtesy of Duddy Ford, Route 9 in Westboro and Diamond Chevrolet, 520 Park Avenue in Worcester. So we'll be keeping an eye on those cars, as will the bowlers. Three strikes, Ford LTD, four strikes, the 1982 Corvette. Well, Lee had a tough shot the first one. Hit that a little bit too low. This one here could go and gets in there. Yep. Very nice. So the first mark of the match turned in by Lee Bergeron. Set up pretty nice for him. Ball took out the pin, the wood swept to the right. That's very similar to the Lee that uh, Lee Bergeron missed. Turned out a little bit different. He's got a little more wood locked on the seven. Tom Ulster with his first mark of the match, a spare in number three. There he goes. The ball and the wood both helped take that out there. Oh, big break for Tommy. Oh, yeah, bonus ball. It will fill his spare with a nine in number three to give Tom Ulster a 39 total and uh, an excellent opportunity for another mark here. Whew. I don't know. Didn't get it the first time around. Got it off the sideboard. Lee Bergeron working on a spare of his own now in number two. See what kind of a fill he gets here with this bonus ball. Well, he fills his spare with a six and has the four horsemen. Piece of wood there that will do him more harm than good. Let's see. That wasn't too bad. Of course, he had to either hit it outside or split it. Caught it on the nose. That'll put him down for you if he can gather in a 10 box. Oh. 10 box brings Lee's total to 36. Tom Ulster with the early lead of three pins. We've got a lot of candle pin action to go. We have three strings of action today. The winner at the end of that three strings will take home two thousand dollars. A thousand to the runner-up. Any 
think he knew he got back by that one a little bit too much. Mr. Old's still working on another spare. Boy, right. three out of four times been on that right side. 56 through four for Tom, bolsters his uh, lead up to 11 pins now. Very early in this match. As our bowlers get off to a pretty good start here, it might be a good time to mention that uh, the first bowler hitting 425 or better for our three strings here during the Pro Bowlers Classic will win the Lincoln Greyhound jackpots. And this week, the jackpot is worth $500. We got a lot of money riding on this match here. Keep coming, huh? Whew. That, of course, courtesy of Lincoln Greyhound. And it also includes a night at the races at the beautiful Lincoln Greyhound Park in Rhode Island. Consider a bowl of having a decent string. Could come out of here with the $500, a win in the Classic. A new car. <laughs> well, a chance for Lee to catch up now. Two open boxes here. And the fun continues next week, I might add. We have the men's final this week. Next week, the ladies come in to play the final in their half of the Pro Bowlers Classic. Stacia Zernike and Tony Marie Broussard in that one. Oh, Ooh, nice, nice shot. shot. Very pretty. Check that one out again. Use the wood beautifully that time. So, Mr. Bergeron has a pair of spares now. Here's his bonus ball. Good looking, Phil. Cuts the lead to two. And he has an eight box to beat. There you see his uh, high triple of 474. Mr. Bergeron also turned in a roll-off score of 1306. Well, the WB, WCBC, which is the Pro Bowlers organization, Frank, has completed their tour this year of six different uh, locations. And the bowlers of the year have been accounted for. Uh, total pinfall over six tournaments. They take the best five out of six. For the gentleman, uh, Tommy Oster finished sixth. The winner, bowler of the year, was Dave Romani, who Tommy has beaten in the semifinals. Dave had a total of 6,546 pins over a five uh, tournament uh, tour. Nice mark there by Tommy. So congratulations to Dave Romani. And as you mentioned, uh, Tom, in the top 10, rated number six, and Mr. Bergeron also in the top 25, ranked number 22. So all bowlers uh, here at the finals did very well. 10 what? box for Tommy, a number eight, 101 total now as Lee Bergeron steps up. Might mention also that you uh, you mentioned that Stacia Zernike and Tony Marie Brassad would be our bowlers in the next match. Tony Marie knocked down 6,070 pins to uh, easily pull ahead and win the bowl, women's bowler of the year on the Pro Tour this year. So she had a great year. And it isn't over. We'll see Tony Marie, as Dave mentioned, along with Stacia Zernike in next week's Ladies' Final Pro Bowlers Classic. Well, Mr. Bergeron drops a few pins there. He now trails Tom Olsta by nine. Lee, uh, nice, easy ball. Different style than Tommy. Tommy really fires it out there. We just go a little bit cross alley, basically down the middle.
Another nine box for Lee, 91 through eight. Trails by 10 pins. It's Tom Olsen steps up to finish out for a string. Tommy's ball is working, and he hasn't been on a hit pin that much, Frank. He's getting good action. Tom Ulster, one of our finalists. In the quarterfinals, Tom beat Russ Neely. In the semifinals, he defeated Dave Romani, and here in the finals, he leads Lee Bergeron in the first of three strings. It seems that if he gets five, he'll get six here. Missed the object, had to hit the two pin. Tom Ulster finishes his first string with uh, 121. Now that would have brought in the spear for him if he hit it there. Strike of the match turned in by Lee Bergeron. Let's check that one out again. Lee got in the way a little bit there. I don't know whether he hit right or left, but in any case, it's down. Oh, oh I thought we had two. Woo. However, that wood is frozen on the five and should be a routine mark point. So a spare on strike for Lee Bertrand. Brings him right back in this match, even through nine at 111. Well, whatever he throws here will be the difference in the match. Didn't like it. However, he got five. 126 to 121 the totals in our first of three strings of candlepin action today in the finals of the Pro Bowlers Classic. We're back with a second string right after this. <laughs> Lee Bergeron with a five pin lead in this match as we head into string number two of three men's final of the Pro Bowlers Classic. I'd like to mention, Frank, why we have a chance. Of still time to get on that bus to Atlantic City. Thunderbird Bowl in conjunction with Fresh Pond Travel, sponsoring a trip to Atlantic City for a weekend. May 14th, bus leaving here from Thunderbird. So if you're interested in going down to Boardwalk and have a little fun, check in with Thunderbird and we'll be glad to help you out. So a nine for Lee Bergeron to start off the second string. Lee's road to the finals went this way. Defeated Ronnie McPhail in the quarterfinals and defeated Fran Honorado in the semifinals. And here in the finals against Tom Oldster. I think the toughest job, Frank, was to beat the other hundred odd bowlers that were in the original roll-off. That's the hard part. These guys are all good. We're only seeing the top eight, but these fellas that are on the Pro Tour, uh, any one of those fellas could have, could have made it. This was uh, Lee's day. While I'm on the subject of tournaments and tours, I'd like to mention that the Mass Bowling Association State Championships are being held from April. Uh, now, starting around the 15th, 18th, all the way through the middle of May at uh, Fairway Sports World in Natick, at Woven Boulder Drone, and at uh, Coral Bowl in Stowe. Uh, the uh, Men's Class A doubles and teams being held at Woburn. The junior and senior events being held at Cole Bowl and Stowe and all other events at uh, Fairway Sports World in Natick. Spare for Tom Olster. Had a little light there and got some sideboard action. Tom will 
fulfill his fare with an eight. against him on that one so Tom Olsta turns in uh, a nine and number two for 27 total now and uh, Tom goes up by five in this match this way. Got that ball to bounce left off the high end of the wood. One pin into the other. Unbelievable shot. <laughs> ah, nice looking spare for Lee Bergeron. That's the second time today that yep. that single pin has been left. Difficult shot and a difficult call for uh, Tony Zernke. He's on the line watching this one. He has to hit the chair out of the wood. Oops. No good. Just caught something on the way in there. Tom also comes up one pin short of a strike. Now the bowlers are going back and forth here. Tom Ulster has had five marks in this match. All of them have been spares. Generous to whisk her away from a strike on that one. Get one of those unusual leaves. Well, these bowlers really got the crowd buzzing now. Tom Olsta and Lee Bergeron in the finals of our Pro Bowlers Classic. Tom with a 10 box at number four, 51 through four. Well, one pin difference. All he's looking for here is three on the right, three on the left. If he gets the spare, he'll take it. I also want to mention to some, everyone out there to be looking ahead to the fall season. Thunderbird Bowl has available lanes for leagues that are looking for a home, or if you'd like to form a league, we have a few openings left for next fall, so give us a call here at Thunderbird. We'll be glad to see if we can get some room for you down here. What, a are, lot of, what are the requirements for? Well, for a league, uh, basically four lanes or more and uh, four people or, or more on a team. And that really forms a pretty decent league. And they usually bowl um, 30 weeks during the uh, fall to spring season. You have to be sponsored at all? No, no. no it's, uh, you, a lot of them come together just as a social group. Some uh, leagues form uh, from uh, factories, shops, companies. Uh, but most, a lot of leagues just get together as a, as a, as a social uh, night out, and it's a lot of fun. There you see our score through six for Lee Bergeron, 62, Tom Olsta. A pair of boxes in hand here. Oh, he's got a lot of zip on that ball now. Tom with a spare opportunity. He's done that again. He hit that a little bit too in the middle, much in the middle. Now you gotta hit those angle wood shots on the high side. That time it should have been a little on, on the left. And just off to the right. So Tom ends up with a nine. And picks up a pin. His lead is now two pins. 
Strike for Tom Ulster. We, we are through six in this match. We're about halfway through, we've got a string and a half of Candlepin action to go. We're back with that for you right after this. All right, we are back. We are through a string and a half of this match between Tom Ulster and Lee Bergeron. Super strike that we saw just before the break. Tom Ulster. His first strike of the match. Let's check that one out again. And they went out of there very quickly, too. This didn't take too long. All right, back now live with Lee. Those of you that would like to uh, attend our Bay State Bowling taping sessions, our next taping session, will be here at the Thunderbird Bowl on May 9th, a Sunday. Sunday, May 9th. Love to see you here. We start uh, anywhere between 9.30 and 10 a.m., and we take four shows, so we're here till usually ooh, five o'clock. So that'll be Sunday, May 9th, right here at the Thunderbird Bowl in Auburn, Massachusetts. Well, Lee has been a little bit of a rut here. He's got a couple of nines and eights, last four boxes. Aha! So go. much for the rut. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's had a problem with coming up one pin short of a strike, but uh, no doubt about it that time. Also working on a strike, this fella, Tom Ulster, oh. and the pair. Oh. Pair of strikes for Tom Ulster. We start thinking about that car. Triple strike. Tom will have full use of the 1982 Ford LTD Crown Victoria. That one out even quicker than the other one, Frank. Oh, boy. Now we just got to cool down and wait for the machine to reset because he's knocked so many pins out of the way. All right. This is about as close as we have come to giving away this car for one year. Here we go. Come on! <laughs> Mr. Duddy, your car is safe. Mercy. Well, let's see. He's concentrating on spear. Now he's got to get his mind off the double. Play this wood right. If you can see the pin, I can't tell from here. Oh. Everything but. Oh boy. So Tom Olsen pushes the score up now to 108 through seven. Ten box to number eight. 118. Well, working on a strike of his own is Lee Bergeron. Let's see what happens here. See if he can turn the double. Well, could be sat down, lost a little bit of that momentum. A little bit, but it, Lee's ball hasn't been uh, ripping him out uh, as well as it has in the past. He's getting a, it was three and three and one, two and one, three and two. And you're working hard when you get those. Well, the two bonus balls fills Lee's strike with a 990 now through eight. We should make mention of one of the fine sponsors of our Pro Bowlers Classic. We speak, of course, of the Carrick Insurance Agency. They're located on Church Street in Whitensville and the Ammon Insurance Agency, Town Hall in Hopedale. These folks have been in business for over 50 years. And they can help you with all your insurance needs. And that, of course, for business, including fire, liability, motor vehicle, and employee benefit programs. So why don't you see the folks at the Carrick Agency, Whitensville, and Ammon Insurance Agency, Hopedale, for all your life insurance needs, for home or business. Tell them that you heard about them on the Pro Bowlers Classic. Well, decent finish for Lee. 117, coupled with Lee's 126 in the first string, Brings his total to 243 for two strings. Got, got a string to go here. $2,000 to today's winner. 1000 to the runner-up. Finals of our Pro Bowlers Classic. Oh. Oh. Third oh. strike of this string for Tom Olsen. One box too late. 
But they're not, they're not hanging around too long down there, those pins. He's knocking them right out. Tommy with 23 pins, a strike working, and he has a mark seven against him. Just a reminder that if uh, our bowlers are to roll three consecutive strikes, they have to be in the same string in order to qualify for the car. to get the final pin there, so we got spare on strike. That was a beautiful shot. He threw that three pin right over. The sideboard action took it out. Seven on spare in number 10. Look at that. 155 for Tom Olsa in the second string. Couple that with his 121. Got a 276 total with a string to go. Tom Olster with a lead in this match between uh, Tom Olster, Lee Bergeron. Finals, the Pro Bowlers Classic. Back with the final string right after this. <laughs> Final string of candlepin action today on TV 27 Space State Bowling Pro Bowlers Classic. Tom Olsta with a 33 pin lead coming into this final string. 276, 243, two string totals. And Tommy picking up right where he left off. Boy. Last string, last string he had three strikes. There's the first of this string. Make sure he gets three here. <laughs> Spare on strike for Tom Olster. Check that one out again. Beautiful shot. Pin went right in there. Boy. Lee Bridgeron's got to dig his strike ball out now to catch up. $2,000 to today's winner, in addition to a very fine looking trophy courtesy of Marlboro Sporting Goods. You see them there. Of course, uh, Marlboro Sporting Goods in Marlboro. No, downtown Main Street. That's right. Dennis Travis is the proprietor manager and the fellow who put those beautiful trophies together for us. Oh, yeah. I uh, believe that one. These guys are making some great shots today. Unbelievable. So at the end of the show, we'll, of course, show you the trophies again as we make our presentation. Don Riley, president of the WCBC, will be presenting the checks. Don rode in in a Brinks truck today with checks. 2,000 to today's winner, 1,000 to the runner-up. Lee Bergeron, pair of spares to lead off third string, final string. Well, Lee continues to show his authority with the spares. He's done that consistently throughout the class. And even though he's, uh, at this point, 38 down, still very much in the match. These fellows are quite explosive. Ten box for Tom. Check that one out again. That was a great 10 buck considering what he did with his first ball. Four on the right and three on the left. 42 through three for Tom. Oh, he's spreading his strikes out now. Yeah. Lorraine is getting writer's cramp writing all that's, those strikes in. That's why we give her a lot of pencils over there, so we <laughs> case the lid runs out. You'll have to resharpen all of those between matches now, Lorraine. Well, Lee needs that big when he gets a tough spot. Although he's come back and made these.
Zen box for each of our bowlers, number three. Lee Bergeron trailing by 30 pins in this match, but uh, staring at Tom Holst to strike in number four. Well, Tom in pretty good shape, controlling the match at this point. Not even a little body English could help that one. Well, he hit it pretty well. And he had to get that pin to go into the corner, and it went up, around, and over the top. Nice ten. Tom Olsta, five, count him, five strikes in this match. Working on one right now. One pin short. A pair of strikes. But uh, can double up his marks here, and he does. Another spare on strike for Tom Olsta. He begins to pull away in this match. Eight spares for Tom, five strikes. <laughs> He's just been twice now, one pin away from that car. Unbelievable. Sixth strike of the match for Tom. The third in this string alone. Hey, we might mention that uh, Tom with his two string total of 276 is only 149 pins short of winning the Lincoln Greyhound jackpot. Strike now stands at $500 as we see Lee Bergeron come up with a mark to spare here as we check it out again. Made that on the outside. Ball in the corner. Well, he's got 92 for six. That's 32 over. He needs another 17 pins, and he's on a mark. So, uh, realistically speaking, a one more mark would put him very close, and two more marks by Tom would probably do it for him. Meanwhile, Lee hasn't given up. Yeah! <laughs> All right. There's Lee Bergeron with a strike of his own in number six. All right, we are through six. We've got... Uh, few boxes to go in this string and we finish it all up we'll have a winner taking home two thousand dollars a runner up with a thousand we'll be back with the conclusion of the match right after this <laughs> Tom Olster, opportunity to win two thousand for the title another five hundred in our Lincoln Greyhound jackpot working on a strike <laughs> Nine or strike, and that's all he can do. That's all he can do? Well, that's not, not too bad, I guess. <laughs> all right. Look at this. Spare on strike. The way this string has gone for Tom Olsta, let off with a strike, then a spare. Ten box. Strike. Spare. Strike. Spare. His only mistake has been that two in the, in the second box, two on the spare. Everything else has been perfect. Well, not a bad lead, because we can make this inside or out. Fills a spare in number seven with a six to bring his total to 118. Oh, no! Get down. Well, it's going to keep the suspense a little bit longer. The number we're looking for from Tom is 149. With a 149 or better, Tom will win the Lincoln Greyhound jackpot worth $500. Well, that spare would have done it for him. He needs one more. Meanwhile, back to the classic. <laughs> Lee, even though he's, it looks like he may be way out of this, he's on a strike, and of course, uh, with a double or a triple, he's right back in it again. Oh, doesn't need that. All right, looked like a, uh, a tough hit, but it was only a fraction of an inch away from a uh, big strike. I might also mention, in addition to the prizes that we've talked about today, we also have Day State Bowling Jackets, courtesy of Wilson Bowling Supply in Shrewsbury Street in Worcester. And, of course, gift certificates to Arby's. Arby's Roast Beef Sandwich. You've heard about them. 
Bowlers receive gift certificates, courtesy of Arby's. Jackets, trophies, money, everything. And all we can do is sit here and watch. And in return, they provide us with some pretty exciting candle in action. They have put on a great show for us today. Lee is going to have one nice triple, and really, uh, he's out of the match. No fault of his own. And the action continues next week with the ladies' finals. Stacia Zernike, Tony Marie Broussard in that one. Oh, Tommy's going to take us down to the last box, I guess. We don't know how big a mark yet. We'll need a spare three or a strike three. See if he's got one more mark left. Well, I'm sure he's going to go for the whole thing right here. Not a chance. Not a. The wood possibly could give him a problem here. He's got to hit the three pin first. Oh, man, we're going to come up a little bit short of giving away that $500. It will become $600. $600. However, a 422. Hmm. Big night. Tom Olsta, three pins short of the uh, extra 500 smackers in our Lincoln Greyhound jackpot. Seven for Lee, 120 through nine. Ordinarily, a good score. Well, he's already got 363 in a box remaining. He's going to hit 370 plus. His mark, he's 380, uh, which is you know, what he's been doing in the tournament. He has been the actual high scorer up till now. Yeah. Nothing could deny Tommy today. Big strike. Last chance to maybe get himself a car here. Sure, I'd love to see that double. Mm. Boy, looking over the statistics on this match, 10 strikes in this match. And a lot of excitement with each of those strikes. 382. Got our money's worth today. Tom Ulster, the men's champion. A Pro Bowlers Classic here on TV 27, defeating Lee Bergeron, 422 to 382. We're back to talk with our bowlers and award the prize money right after you look at this. <laughs> Pro Bowlers Classic men's division just wrapped up. We had quite a match as Tom Olsta is now our champion, defeating Lee Bergeron today by a score of 422 to 382. Some great candle pin action in the past hour. We're going to take a couple minutes here to uh, uh, introduce you to our bowlers and present them with our prizes. First, I'd uh, like to introduce you to the people who will be in, who will have the prizes. And that uh, we start with Dave Adams, who will be presenting our trophies to today's winner and runner-up. David, we had quite a match today. Right, beautiful match, beautiful match. Super, and presenting the checks, the very important checks, the president of the WCBC, Don Riley. <laughs> hey, Don. Hi. Big smile on your face today. I think you enjoyed the match, didn't you? I enjoyed it. It really was a thrill. It's an awful thing to bowl 382 and come up a loser, but I guess none of these guys are losers. They're all pretty good. To get here and bowl like that, you have to be good. That's right, and anybody who takes home $1,000 can't be considered a loser. So let's bring up our bowlers now. We'll start with our runner-up, Lee Bergeron. <laughs> Lee, congratulations on a super match. And uh, if we could just turn you around, why don't you step over on this side of me here and uh, ask you the last time you lost with a three-string total of 382. 
too, uh, too much too much to remember. I'll tell you, it's, uh, you learn to accept those things. There's no defense in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, Tommy Bull, fantastic. He really did. He had the crush of the first ball. Uh, I was leaving a lot of one and ones, two and ones. Uh, who knows? At the beginning of the match, a break one way or the other may have turned things around, but he bowled fabulous. Super score and uh, some great entertainment in the past hour. Dave? Thanks. Very good going, Lee. Thanks. Beautiful trophy from Marlboro Sporting Goods for you. Put on the mantle and enjoy it. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. And Don? Uh -huh. Congratulations, Lee. You're a credit to our organization and to the sport of Candleton Bowling. Thank you. Appreciate nice it. Nice going. Thanks, Don. Trophy and a check for $1,000. Very good. Why don't you just step over there and let's bring out our champ, ladies and gentlemen, our Pro Bowlers Classic Men's Division champ, Tom Olster. Congratulations, champ. Why don't you come right over on this side of me here? Not only do you win the championship, the trophy, $2,000, you came up three pins short of winning our jackpot and uh, strike short of winning a car. A lot of exciting bowling out there. You were full of strikes. I was having fun today. My ball was working. It, it was nice. It was at a good time. Super score. Dave? Here you go, Tom. Pleasure to watch you bowl. Thank you. Super trophy and, of course, the man with a check. Don? Here's the big one, Tom. Awful good bowl, and I can't put it any other way. Just terrific. Thank you. Really. Great. The check for $2,000, of course, the trophy. And uh, both of our bowlers, I think, ladies and gentlemen, you'll agree, did a super job today in the finals. Came a long way to get to this point, and they didn't disappoint.